morning students welcome to basic electrical lectures so in last class uh, that is uh, class number 50 i explained a uh, hard thing in that i explained a uh, plate or thing and in this lecture i am going to explain pipe or thing in detail so before that once again i will recall what is hard thing see hard thing is nothing but the process of transferring immediate discharge of electrical energy directly to the ground with the help of low resistance wire this word is very very important with the help of low resistance wire and how the earthing can be done the earthing can be done by connecting a non current carrying part of the equipment or the neutral of the supply system directly to the ground this is the way the earthing can be done what is the necessity of earthing so it going to uh, prevent the um, prevent against electrical shock during abnormal condition if earthing is not done so some uh, the uh, insulation is break down that fault current may touches the frame of the equipment if any person touches that frame he will get shock because the current uh, the leakage current uh, get the path gets the path through the human body and directly to the ground the current passes through the human body to the ground so by that time the victim will get uh, severe electric shock okay so in order to avoid that earthing is done okay fine next uh, what are the objectives of earthing so this is also important the major objective of the earthing is provides safety operation okay and then uh, uh, during uh, atmospheric uh, lightning so it going to uh, provide a uh, high rise buildings sorry it going to protect the high rise buildings from atmospheric uh, lightning okay and then uh, to maintain constant uh, voltage under unbalanced load condition so earthing plays an important role that is a major objective and then uh, it serves the conducting material because earth itself acts as a return path okay to the flow of current okay so next we can move on to the the diagram of uh, pipe earthing see the word pipe okay they are going to use galvanized iron pipe galvanized iron pipe whatever the procedure is done for plate earthing same thing they are going to use it uh, in this method also only the difference is they are replacing the copper plate by this pipe but not copper pipe it is galvanized iron pipe okay got it see now this is a ground level so ground level so they are going to dig the ground okay around approximately uh, 4 to 5 meters okay or 3 to 5 meters in depth so how much depth we should dig the uh, ground or pit that depends on magnitude of current okay or magnitude of the fault current so based on that so we have to go for uh, longer depth okay got it see now they have placed a conduit pipe on the top of the ground level okay this is a insulation part now the earth wire they are using galvanized iron wire okay it is a strip directly it is inserted inside the conduit pipe but this uh, this earth wire is not in direct contact with the conduit pipe so some air gap will be there this wire will not get touch with the conduit okay so within in that gap so the wire strip is inserted then they are going to the length of the galvanized iron pipe so this length varies from 2 to 3 meters and it depends on magnitude of the fault current and also the moisture in the uh, soil the moisture content in the soil so based on that uh, the length of the pipe may increase or may decrease let uh, how this pipe is inserted okay like this is the bottom surface of the earth pit okay this is the earth, this entire thing is digged around uh, from 3 to 5 meters okay let uh, for uh, analysis purpose we consider 4 meters we have digged the earth pit what is the width of the earth pit the width of the earth pit is approximately 300 mm means 30 cm what we have done in plate earthing 90 cm this side 90 cm and this side 90 cm we have done okay length into breadth almost a square earth pit okay and with a depth of 3 meters but here we are not digging much uh, width 
of the earth pit. So we are digging almost uh, 30 centimeter. So from year to year, 30 centimeter approximately. So we can say space, okay, by comparing plate to pipe. So pipe earthing requires less space compared to plate earthing. See now, let consider this is a galvanized iron pipe, okay, this duster, galvanized iron pipe. This is the bottom of the earth pit. So this pipe is not directly touches the earth pit, okay. So if they won't do like that. What they will do is they will put salt layer first. Okay, they will put uh, common salt. So this is what I explained. Common salt. What is the thickness? Thickness of common salt around 30 mm means 3 centimeter. And after that they will put uh, charcoal. After that they will put charcoal of thickness 80 mm. And then common salt charcoal like that. Once they put charcoal. Okay, two layers, uh, one layer of salt and charcoal is ready. Then they are going to insert the galvanized iron pipe. Okay, galvanized iron pipe like this. Not directly here. In plate earthing, the plate is directly touch the earth pit. Okay, but in plate earth, in pipe earthing, not like that. With some gap. Okay, that gap is filled with uh, charcoal and uh, common salt. Okay, once they insert it, and in this uh, galvanized iron pipe, uh, three holes are there. So the diameter of that holes are 12 mm. See, what is the purpose of that means? In order to uh, fasten the earth strip with the nut and bolts, these holes are made it. See, this is the galvanized iron wire. So it is a strip. Initially, it, there will be a strip. Okay, there will be a strip. It passes through the conduit pipe. And uh, inside GI pipe also, and the earth strip, uh, I mean three holes, and the outside GI pipe will be there, and GI pipe three holes, okay, those three, and this strip, earth strip having three holes, will synchronize together, will join with the correct place, and they are going to insert uh, one bolt, and they will tighten it. Okay, with nut and bolts they will tighten it so that the strip is get rigid contact with the galvanized iron pipe. What is the diameter of this pipe? 38 mm dia. Once it is completely inserted in the charcoal layer, after earthing is now earthing is completely done. After that, again they will put uh, again they will put uh, charcoal. Okay, assume that this uh, galvanized pipe uh, has not directly contact uh, with the uh, earth pit some gap okay now I place like here this is placed with some gap now they'll put uh, again salt and then charcoal salt charcoal till almost the cover of the GI pipe not complete uh, almost okay 90 percent of this total length should cover with alternate layers okay why this alternate layers are uh, used with this materials common salt and charcoal because to maintain the soil conductivity okay so and during the uh, summer season so the entire uh, the soil will be wet uh, will be in dry condition so under that condition to maintain the conductivity of the soil we can pour water into this funnel okay actually i have written this funnel uh, far away from this uh, gi pipe generally it would be behind if this is gi pipe means back end that uh, funnel will be there and that funnel will be almost near to the GI pipe. Okay. So if I put water in this funnel, that water will come comes into the pit. So that water almost get contact with the uh, contact surface around the GI pipe. Okay, got it. So that it maintains the conductivity in a good condition, soil conductivity. Understood? So this completes the pipe earthing explanation. What you should write means, see, uh, in plate earthing, in plate earthing, compared to plate earthing and pipe earthing, pipe earthing is most commonly used. Why means? It requires less space. That is what uh, every uh, building owner is expecting. Okay. He always thinks about uh, money. Okay. How much uh, cost it takes to dig the ground, manpower, everything will increase us in plate earthing. But in pipe earthing, it reduces. And coming to how much fault current, okay, that is leakage current, can easily uh, 
uh, pass it through the earth pit okay with the help of this uh, low resistance wire this is the galvanized iron wire so with the help of this um, we can uh, get the uh, more leakage current we can pass more leakage current in pipe earthy compared to plate earthy why means the gi pipe has larger contact area okay the gi pipe galvanized iron pipe has larger contact area in the earth so therefore so it going to uh, it going to receive high amount of leakage current compared to plate earthy okay got it therefore most of the earthing most of the residential buildings okay two story building three story up to five story buildings they are going to prefer uh, this uh, pipe earthing and apartments and all they can go for higher ratings okay they can use pipe also with the longer pipe with longer depth like that they can uh, do it otherwise they can go for plate earthing also see now keep this is a note while explaining earthing you must remember this note earthing provides simple path for leakage current that's it earthing provides simple path for the leakage current so this path this path will be different for different types of earthing so they called a uh, plate earthing pipe earthing okay got it so how to pass leakage current the resistance should be very less lesser the rest of resistance more current will flow in that so they are going to uh, collect the uh, earth um, earthing up through the low resistance path so the low resistance path can be achieved by copper plate or pipe earthing plate earthing pipe earthing rod earthing strip earthing okay mat earthing several types are there okay but you concentrate on plate and pipe earthing so that much is uh, sufficient okay got it so overall advantage is pipe earthing is better okay in residential buildings got it it saves and important point is so this is the foundation of our building let's say 30 40 site okay so 30 and 40 something whatever the dimension may be so i write like this okay uh, let's say this is 30 and this is 40 a what are irrespective you constructed a building okay you constructed a building with certain height two story or three story whatever maybe then earthing will be done okay with respect to foundation okay minimum 1 meter okay if your foundation is here means suppose this is the foundation you take a gap of 1 meter minimum 1 meter minimum 1 meter there you do the earthing okay got it so the entire uh, the earthing see this uh, metallic frame that is connected here whatever the leakage current flows that entire current flows to the earth it won't flow to the human body okay in that way it is uh, protected okay got it fine guys uh, by this uh, this particular topic ends okay got it so plate earthing cost increases pipe earthing cost is less if they ask to compare plate and pipe you can write like that okay not issue pause the video and then copy down the diagram as needed as possible so in the next lecture i am going to explain now uh, some more theoretical topics or what are the precautions against electric shock fuse and mcb comparisons like that i am going to explain so till then uh, please uh, watch all the lectures in sequence share our lectures to the needed one so let them score good marks in university examinations so your support uh, is really important for the uploading the video lectures okay so audience should increase day by day so videos will come within a stipulated time i need your support okay please guys uh, like our video uh, share as many friends you know to the needed people those who are studying first year uh, engineering p cycle okay uh, currently or already they studied since exam is not yet conducted so let them be uh, let it be useful for them also okay share your all college friends your friends you know share them to as soon as possible okay so guys have a nice day take care bye bye